Okay, boys, if it's all great, take a step back. Don't throw punches down the back of the head and protect yourselves at all times. Touch us. Good luck. So the atmosphere here building towards the main event. Liam Smith against Anthony Fowler and Ed Harrison trying to put it to McGrail in the early stages here of the professional debut of one of the most talented amateurs of the past decade or so. Travelling the same path as Anthony Fowler and others from the 2016 generation. McGrail from the 2020 Tokyo generation. And although he was beaten in his first contest there, he says the disappointment has been eased by the excitement of turning professional. Yes, I believe he's the first Olympian to turn pro from the GB squad. So he's going to set a tone. But make no mistake, Mike, Harrison, a record of 8-2. and two. If you combine all his pre Harrison's previous opponents up to this point, they had a record of 58 wins and only three losses. So Harrison has been an extremely tough and always comes to give a good fight. It's extremely game. Yeah, and of those eight defeats, only one of them has been inside the distance. So the challenge for Peter McGrail to transfer those sublime skills that we've seen down the years with the vest on into the professional ring. Solid left hand to the body, and again, he repeats the trick. He's found that consistently so far in the fight. It's early doors, but he looks like he's made for the pros. As you can see, he's always looking the front of the left hand. And what he's doing really well is looking down, fading down, looking down, and then he's shooting the left hand to the chin. And that's the kind of work that brought him title after title in the amateur ranks. And producing those angles and making it very difficult for Harrison to reply. Paul Stevenson in McGrail's corner talking about Harrison trying a sneaky right hand every now and again. And for McGrail to be wary of that. Now firing away to the body. Good shots here from McGrail from both flanks. Yeah, Harrison's just trying to use his extra experience and maybe catch some of these shots on the glove and then fire back immediately. Almost like that. Just, just fell short but caught him at the tail end of the combination. You should let McGrail commit, sucker him in, and then try and punch with him or just after after catching a shot. And at this stage, Harrison trying to hold his ground in the centre of the ring. What he does so well is that from the southpaw stance, he'll lean to his right, just like that. And instead of coming back with the right hand, which most people expect, he throws the left hand. Got caught a little uppercut on the inside there. But there's a lot to, for him to learn. I can see a lot already that when he lands a shot, he's very quick to jump out of range. And that's really an amateur thing, you know, get in and get out. As a pro, he learned to be more settled in his feet. he still be elusive, but not jump out of range, because sometimes when you jump straight back, you're almost in punching range. Maybe stay in a bit closer and you go to the body. McGrail still very much in control as we reach the halfway stage of his professional debut here at the MAS Bank Arena in Liverpool. And just a clipping right hand at the end of the round from Ed Harrison, just a sign of the danger that's still there. Oh, he's very and just a thing he might pick up as he goes along is that he learned to jab a bit more, to set up attacks with jabs. Amateur boxing is so dominated by fainting. Nice clipping right hand from McGrail again, producing the angles and making it very difficult for Harrison to reply with anything remotely effective. He's highly, highly skilled, but a good jab will serve him well. McGrail cutting off the ring space and Harrison looking for some kind of solace on the ropes, but he's finding it so difficult here to deal with the mesmerising skills of Peter McGrail. Yeah, I think the body shots that McGrail has landed is really starting to take his toll. Just needs to open up Harrison up a little bit now. And as I said, a jab would, would do that. But shown a huge array of skill and talent here. 
with these movements and angles. It's really, really, really advanced stuff from the grail. Although Harrison there just fired back in that latest exchange on the ropes. So just a semblance of success for Harrison at the end of that previous round, the fourth, and just a warning for McGrail as he moves forward in his professional career. And I find, Andy, that talented amateurs turning over quite often are sometimes a little bit complacent coming away from exchanges. Yeah, I said earlier, usually they'll jump out of range and find themselves on the end of a punch. As you progress for your professional career, you learn to roll out of range, to exit with your head low, not pull out high, which is just the amateur way of doing things. That's, that's what I'd like to see, and that's what he learned. It's, it's very impressive debut so far. Considering, considering the stage, most debuts are, you know, away from the bright lights way down on the card where there's not much pressure. There's huge pressure on this young kid and a lot of ex ex expectation. And a lot of expectation generally in terms of the Olympic generation from Tokyo and those turning professional, adding to the already flourishing, thriving British boxing scene right now as McGrail this time shows the left hand and Harrison was wise to it, read it and just stepped back out of range. But this is damage limitation as far as Harrison is concerned as we come to the closing seconds of the penultimate round. Good left hand. Good combination to finish the round for McGrail. Oh, great shot. Great shot to the body. Good shot from McGrail, and now he's got a chance to open up and score that inside the distance victory. Can he be the only second man to stop Harrison inside the distance? Harrison covers up on the ropes. Should touch upstairs and bang downstairs. Just like that. Giving him a chance to get it, letting him off the hook now. McGrail getting three shots here, nothing coming back at him from Harrison. And credit to Harrison for seeing us this round. Took a lot of solid shots against a very, very highly skilled fighter with a huge future. McGrail dancing after his man in the closing stages and Harrison with a final salvo, having heard the timekeeper wrap on the canvas. Six rounds completed, a successful professional debut for Peter McGrail, the multi-talented World Championship bronze medalist twice over in the amateur ranks and looking to transfer those skills now into the professional game. That was the shot. Disguise it with, a, with the jab, funnily enough, to the head. Straight to the body and, oh, beautiful punch. Caught him while he was punching Seth and kind of doubled the impact. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds here at the MS Bank Arena, we go to referee Steve Gray's scorecard. It reads 60 to 54 for your winner. He's now undefeated as a professional from Liverpool, Pete Hood.